all right everyone hello and welcome back to the channel all right now so here's a video that my good friend pat sent me and pat thank you for the video now the video deals with the frauditor that we all know as accountability angel and i'm going to take it that most of you if not all of you by now have heard that she was found guilty now uh, some of you might not be uh familiar with her maybe some of you guys are new to her uh frauditing because uh, i i think by uh uh, the looks on her channel she doesn't really fraud it too much anymore uh, now she does a lot of uh, playing other people's videos uh, she'll throw a frauded here and there but uh, ever since this uh, case has been <laughs> she's been dealing with this case do you notice that uh, you have uh, what's his knucklehead uh, Terry uh, uh, Annapolis audits uh, uh, rogue nation hey listen eventually this shit catches up to them I just hate the fact that it takes so damn long as we all know the justice system it could take a long period of time before it uh, catches up to these fools and they've done a lot of damage within that time okay so again I say I find it funny that these individuals they never think of the outcome of the shit they're doing they're just enjoying it as the money's coming in and the uh, uh, the YouTube fame and so on and um, eventually when the justice does come up to them and catches them and it bites them in the ass the next thing you know the only option they have is to play other frauded or videos and I guess it's like like, uh, I don't know, I guess, uh, uh it, it's, it's still keeping them in the game, and it's, uh, not really, uh, they're not really, uh, they don't have to worry about getting arrested anymore, and they make a little bit of chunk change, uh, while they're still, uh, in the game, if you want to call it that. But let me show you the video that, uh, she got convicted with, and I found it very funny, you know, a few days ago, she put out a video that she was comfortable with the jury that they picked, and, uh, I don't know, maybe it was, uh, I, it had to be a of, uh, uh, an act for her subscribers because she had that big smile on her face as if uh, she felt she was going to win. Like she wasn't going to be found guilty. Like the brother got convicted on the same deal, the same case that they uh, they were both involved in this deal. So I can't imagine her thinking that she was going to get out of this squeaky clean. But again I say let me show you the video that got her convicted. Pay attention to uh, her actions. Pay attention to what comes out of her mouth. And uh, you tell me, if you were on that jury, uh, would it cross your mind that she was not guilty? <laughs> Let's get into that video, damn it. Can I get your name? We need your name, sir. What was your name? I have a complete form to turn in. No, I have the right to come in there and not have to do it out here in front of you. I have the right to be in this building. He's not trying to come in with the camera anyway. Hello? We're trying to get in the building, you sir. The You're door? denying us services. Well, we're trying to get in at any cost, and they're refusing us access. The guy's right here. Can I get your name, sir? Is somebody in the building that can help us? You said no cell phone. He what doesn't have phone? a cell phone anyway. The one that's right there, right? You can I have two. Look. I will pat myself down since you don't want to do it. I have absolutely nothing. Are you letting him in? You're refusing to allow us access to I the building, sir. It. It'd be great if I could hear you. We can't hear I, you through glass. I can't hear you. No name! Hell yeah! Oh yeah, Mr. Play play the music! They locked me out. We're getting ready to go to the county board meeting. Sir, I have a complaint to turn in. You are impeding the complaint process. You're violating multiple of my civil rights. Can't see good with his phone. What's fucked up is. Hello?
Are you going to let me into my publicly funded building so I can turn in my complaint form, sir? You are impeding the complaint process. You are violating my first and fourth amendment rights. I have freedom of the press and I also have freedom to film this business that I have with you guys. It has been ruled on that we can film our police officers. Right, sir? What's your name? Are you even are you even a sworn officer? I dare him to try to get me for something for beating on the door, because what would that be? Entrapment. Right, guys? No name. Grow some balls. Come on. Come get my complaint. Get Wolford. All right. So I may or may not have the body cam still rolling. I have no clue. I'm not really good at using it yet. Oh, it's making noises. Hold on, guys. Shit. All right, we have been here for five minutes and they're refusing to allow me to turn in my complaint forms. Number zero, 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 zero. Oh. All right, hold on, guys. I'm trying to figure this out. Hello! Hello, I need to turn my complaint forms in, sir. Hello, I have a complaint form. I need to use this building for my services. I have business here and you are denying me access. Hello, hello. I need to come in the building to turn my paper into a supervisor without doing it in front of you two that are violating my rights. I also need two more complaint forms. Two more. Piece of shit, man. You guys see how easy it is for them to violate our rights, right? Look at that freedom. Freedom. Not here. Not here. I have complaints to turn in, bro. All right. I'm going to keep Jacob's video on. I'm going to go live. Sorry, man. They're refusing me access to turn in my complaint. We now have another citizen standing behind me that also can't get in the building. Someone else is here. Do you know that? Are you aware somebody's behind me? Sir, are you refusing him services too? This is what you get here. The door. They locked it. They like to violate our First Amendment right to freedom of the press. And this has been an ongoing issue. You can try to beat on it yourself, but they're not going to do much here, it looks like. Sir, there's another man that wants your assistance. God forbid I try to turn in a complaint form on the sheriff. This is over. Sir, I have a complaint and this man needs service too. Why are you not giving us services? What is going on? Are you kidding me? I need services, sir. I hope you don't have anything to pay for because I guess they don't want your money. <laughs> Hello? Two of us now need services and you're refusing. Sir. Sir. Let me turn my complaints in. I've been here for nine minutes. He's giving him, why does he have to hold on? Because you're violating my rights and won't accept this complaint, so he has to hold on? Well, sorry, man. You need to come in, sir? 
Excuse me, excuse me. Come on in. Excuse me, get your body off me, Jim. Get your body off me. Excuse me. I'm trying to turn my complete forms in, Jim. Okay. Don't touch me. I'm not. Don't touch me. Let get me your hand away from my ass. Let me close the get door. Get your hand away from my ass, sir. Get your hand away from me. Guys, do you see what's going on here? Mike, tell him to get the lieutenant. Excuse me. Excuse me, you're literally you're touching me. If you continue to touch me, you're going to be charged. For what? So get your For body what? Off For of me. what? It doesn't matter. It's not a lawful get order. Your, no. You're violating get my your rights. Body Look what Jim's doing to me. My hand is behind my back. Look at him. Get your he's body he's off impeding of me. my movement. He's stopping my get journalism. Your body off of no. Me. Get you're away from me. You're going to be charged with obstructing justice. For what? For what? For obstructing justice. For what? Justice. That's not obstruction. Do it then. Do it. You'll get move, false arrest, bro. Move back. Get off or you're me. You're going to be arrested. Get away from me. Get away from me. Move Don't back. push me, bro. Mutt, you need to get one of them motherfuckers. He's putting his hands on me. My hands behind my back. No, you're putting your fucking body on me. Now get away from me. I have a right to be in this building and I have a right to turn in my complaint. You do understand if you walk in with these forms, you're getting arrested. No, I'm not. I was here last week, honey. It's, it's oh, yeah, crazy. I'm getting arrested. That's a violation of the 14th Amendment. What am I going to be arrested for? Don't hurt him, Mutt. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Eight. No, it's me, not. You sir. can't tell him what his business is. Excuse Jim is still me, physically sir. touching me, guys. Jim is still physically touching me. You need to move your arm, Jim. Excuse me, sir. You've already screamed. Get your you hands away from me. Get your body off me. You need to let me in. You've already, you already walked out. You're done. You don't know if he has more business here or not. And clearly we do, and he's a witness to my complaint. Get your hands off me, Jim. You are not allowed to use your body to impede my movement or to intimidate me. It's a federal offense. Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse us. Are you refusing me access yes. to the building? I am. Excuse us. On what grounds? Excuse me, Stop Jim. Stop pushing me, ma'am. I'm trying to you make my way get through. You say shit, buddy. Right. What the fuck do you want? Yeah, exactly. You're what violating you our rights. Arrest us, please. Please yeah. arrest us. We'd love the lawsuit, Come wouldn't on, we? Something. Wouldn't we? Bye, Do honey. Something. Take me down. Got the balls. All right. Right? You got the balls behind the glass, don't you, buddy? Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Let's see it. Do something. Do it. You need to let me in the building. You're violating our rights. You are impeding our travel. You are not you allowing us. Take up the pace. Get your hands away from me. Come on, buddy. Get your hands away from me, sir. So you're not going to let me in, right? I have a complaint Hang to on. turn in. We'll Hold that. I'm going live. So we show that he's actually just straight up. Yeah, look what he's doing. He's literally rammed his body him. into me for like minutes. What order? It's an unlawful order, what's, Jim. What's the order? Get away from us now. Order? Get you order? tell me to step back. Guys, look what he's doing. We are at the LaSalle that? County Sheriff's Office Why right now. Me, buddy? The Come order on. is to step back from the door. Under what's the what order? Penalty? Get away from me, sir. Man, you're impeding my space. You're no, oh, you are impeding our oh, travel. Shit. You are oh, no, you shit. are violating multiple, multiple. We are impeding your space. But what you're doing, acting as a public official under color of law, is not impeding our free travel and will. Have you is heard, that right? Have you heard of Title 18 USC Section oh, 241 no. Conspiracy Against Rights? Oh, or Title no, 18 boy. USC Section 242 Deprivation of Rights Under Color of We're Law? Still here. Right? Still here. Right? The what are these? Road. These are federal uh, offenses. The road. Federal offenses. You guys and are fucked. Still blocking. Right? Title U Title 42 USC Section 14141 Pattern and Practice. Right, Jim? This is a pattern and practice for LaSalle County Sheriff's Department to violate our rights, isn't it? Why don't you get Templeton to come to the county board meeting with us? Yeah. Let's squash it right then and there. But right now, you have your hands on me, and you need to get the fuck away from me right now. My hands Everybody, on we are at the LaSalle you know County that Sheriff's Office. Jim and you're this douchebag right here are blocking our travel. Jim is physically touching me right now no, you're touching as me. i'm trying you're to get in the building as i'm trying to get in the building the number you and battery the you, number right? is 815 433 no 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 we are trying to get into our publicly funded building to turn in complaints Move back we are trying to turn in complaints guys 
815-433-2161. We are live on YouTube, guys. So once again, they outnumber us. Are you to shut your phones off again? Where's area. Waldo? Thank you. Thank I've you, guys. Times Look at this. Look what he's doing. From my area. Look what he's doing. I'm trying to turn this complaint in. Yes. For what? Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. I'm trying to turn the complaint in. Let go of the phone. Let go of my phone. I don't my fucking broke my pen. Don't fucking touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Get off me. I'm not in the ditching. What do you have this on film? Yep. Do you have this on film? Use the next couple more. Yep. For what? You're saying you're going to jail too. Guys, 815 all right, now, so after watching that video, I ask again that if you were on the jury, would it have crossed your mind to vote not guilty? Would you have any doubt in your mind to vote guilty? Because uh, I understand I'm biased. I don't really like the shit that they do, period. But after seeing this video, and I don't know if the video was shown in trial or it was verbally spoken uh, in reference to her actions on that day by the prosecutor. But me knowing what transpired, no way in hell would I say this lady was innocent of anything. Of anything. As we all saw, her and her brother banging on the door like a maniac. As if uh, the court officers were going to say, okay, come on in. You know, you come in and record, okay? And again, I got to say it, damn it, just like I said about Reyes. If uh, one of these locations that you feel, that you feel your rights are being violated by a policy that they're enforcing... Why not take it to the damn people who actually have uh, the authority to remove that policy, okay? It is not complicated as some may think it is, okay? And um, these people think that because it's, uh, they feel it's their constitutional right, they're just going to go over there and force their way of thinking down these uh, court officers' throat, whether they like it or not. And I think it's safe to say, damn it, that we live in a civilized society, and that's not the way things are uh, supposed to be. Uh, we speak, you know, we... Uh, you know, we communicate our concerns. We uh, sit down and, and come to some kind of a, a middle ground, an agreement on, okay, uh, uh, this is uh, violating rights and uh, this can be modified. You guys get what I'm getting at, damn it. I mean, shit, these guys really want to uh, push the issue that uh, the Constitution allows them to do whatever the hell they want to do just because the location is considered public. And again, uh, we all know know that limited form comes into play and um it stops them in their track but either they're too dumb to realize that or they just don't want to uh they want to say that the constitution supersedes that in a sense okay so again i ask that if you want a jury could you find this lady innocent because i i found it very funny that she had the audacity to put out a video uh, uh she was happy with the jury pick and uh i don't know she gave that indication as if she was going to come out of this squeaky clean and let me say that i'm sure you guys picked up on not just the fact that she was banging on the door like a maniac but i'm hoping you guys picked up on the fact that uh when the court officer opened the door and she put herself as an obstacle there to stop the court officer from closing the door she started making some accusations there that really i lost respect in her okay uh stop touching my ass get your hand away from my ass and come on as we all know that's sexual harassment regardless that she does not like this man because uh he was not letting her into this location i think that's really disrespectful the guy could have lost his job and then uh, had that on his uh, job history for the rest of his life. That is like some real low down dirty shit. Okay. And uh, ah, the fact that what her brother did too. Uh, I ask any man out there. Could you see another man uh, put his face to your face talking some bullshit to you? And you're, I understand. I think I would have lost my job a long time ago. Because uh, I just couldn't stand there and let another man up in my face talking about what are you going to do you know i i, I would have smacked the shit out of them and excuse the language uh how i'm talking but I, I mean sometimes these people forget that these uh court officers or police officers whoever they're interacting with at this moment that they are people okay 
They, whatever, I don't want to keep repeating. I think we are all well aware that these people, when they say uh, public servant, they really mean slave. Like like, uh, like they're supposed to uh, kiss their ass and bow down. And again, they done forgot that these are regular, average, normal people. Your neighbors, your friends, your family members, you guys get what I'm getting at. So uh, again, uh, here we're going to show you the video that she put out to her subscribers. And uh, hey, in my book, she's guilty, and it is what it is. All right. And yes, uh, yet again, they fabricated the things that um, they claim I said about family members <laughs> in their closing arguments, of course. Okay, so we got some big things to talk about. Um, number one, they found me not guilty of battery with injuries. So that's great. As it should be. Uh, number two, they convicted me of all three other charges, which were battery, another battery against Kurt Pastrick, and um, obstructing Jim. So they got me for two with Jim and one for with Kurt. I'm actually uh, disappointed and shocked, but you know what's weird? They come out. And the jury took about an hour and 45 minutes to deliberate. And in that time, guess who walked in the jury room where they're deliberating? Guess who? Guess. 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 Okay. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. Uh, a prosecutor that knows damn well better that there was a jury trial going on. They know that building better than anybody. The lawyers know it better than anybody. And somehow they accidentally walk into the room. I find that highly uh, suspicious. I don't know what else to say about that. I mean, did that plague the jury? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I definitely think they're false claims that I said all that stuff without showing, letting me show uh, the evidence of, you know how they said about Jim's child and whatnot. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand how they even let that slide twice, twice. Um, so I'm super freaking disappointed in that. <laughs> I'm just staying off Facebook right now. It's better for my uh, soul. <laughs> um, no, Frank, I'm saying that the LaSalle County uh, publicly funded employees are. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, I know it. Isn't that something? Yeah. Well, I don't know specific. They didn't say, because they didn't, okay, about that. Um, they didn't say which one did it. They didn't say. So, I don't know. I don't know. That's something to find out. But you want to know what's even worse than that? Well, no, that's the worst, actually. Because now I have no way I can believe that a jury of my peers convicted of me of three charges out of the four um, when somebody walked in the room. Number one, somebody in general, but number two, one of the attorneys. Three out of four charges. No, we're focusing on the positive here, Florida Jim. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't know. Whoever. I'm not reading half of them, so I don't know if that was pro or against. But nonetheless, focusing on the positive, kind of. I mean, about as much as you can for a video. Oh, yes, they sure did. Frank, why don't, why don't you uh, go get the uh, reports? It was on record. They announced it on record that that had happened. And they claimed, okay, what they claimed was that this person walked in there and the jury four person, uh, you know, got after him saying, hey, you know, whatever, get out. Um, oh, good, Florida Jim. I could do her a boot licking psycho. Uh, <laughs> but just to, just to clarify, I wanted to be sure of that before I said something. Well, before I stuck to it, I guess. Um, anywho, they came out and they said in open court, announced that um, somebody had walked in the room, an attorney, one of theirs, I guess, and uh, and that the jury four person immediately told them to get out, whatever. But you know what's weird? Number one, I don't know if I can believe that, All right? Number two, number two, why did the four person have to tell anybody to get out? You're telling me a freaking attorney? It goes to trial all the time, or at least is in court all the time. Uh, didn't know to get out immediately. I don't know. Um, 
I don't know. It. They didn't announce it. I don't know. I have to later find out, I guess. They're yeah, guilty as hell. Yeah, right. Did you watch? Did you watch what happened? And then if they call my actions that day a battery, why was why was Deputy Bonts never arrested for the battery he committed? Number one. Number two. Why did Jim walk right into me? And then they claim that um, <laughs> they claim his hand was behind his back the entire time. One of them claims. His hand was uh, on the door or something. Donna claims that um, that nobody uh, that she, her view was not obstructed by two grown men, their bodies, their torsos and everything, in between where we were. She claims she could see it perfectly. Hi, Lucinator. So, I don't know. I'm super happy. Actually, with their battery with injury. Um, oh yeah, slammed into him. Please give me the timestamp of that, please. Uh, post it right here for us. I'll be waiting. Um, Anywho, yeah, according to Kurt Pastrick, I body chucked him, which is like completely different than what he originally had to say. Um, because as you guys know, they said nothing, actually. I was there for an hour and a half, and nobody accused me of doing anything. They actually let me roam at my own free will up, up into the courtroom areas up there, right? Uh, without stopping me, any of that. Nobody was with me. They didn't escort me. Um, so they put the whole courthouse in jeopardy just so because they didn't feel like arresting me when they had the arrest powers Okay, yeah, right uh, But anywho that brings me back to um, There was only as far as I'm aware There's only one person given uh, the extended media coverage Which was Tom Collins from the News Tribune. There were several reporters in there uh, most of which hate me uh, Tom Henson, he's that weirdo that's like obsessed with me from the from WLPO. Him and him and Rod. Hi, Rod. <laughs> Rod Thorson, he's a nut. But um, I don't even want to get into what he did because they'll uh, strike my video again. But he did some very terrible things to his neighbor with pew pews. Um, we'll say that amongst other things, other um, allegations of uh, teenage piddling, I guess we could call it. Um, anywho, uh, so as I was leaving the courtroom after the verdict came in, whatever, um, all of a sudden, right outside the door, there's Tom Henson, Tom Collins, those reporters, uh, and some other dudes, and, um, guess what they had in their hands? Guess, guess, okay, are you guys ready for this? Freaking cell phones, cell phones in their hands. They pick and choose, and they just allow, like, they had them in the court, dude had his smartwatch in the court. I didn't see any anything that allowed him to do that. Um, the application for like the extended media coverage never saw it from him. I'm shocked how much hate there is for free. Oh, I know, I know, dude. They uh, they hate it. They truly, truly do. But uh, that ain't gonna stop me. Maybe I'll get out tomorrow sometime and get it. Well, I gotta see if I can make that work to get a quick audit. And I really, truly, on my way home. I was wanting to pull off and go somewhere and just do one, just just for the sake of doing it, do one. I truly wanted to, but uh, I also wanted to go live eventually and have time to decompress and stuff. Cause, uh, I mean, you guys that actually watch me, uh, 